Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I know that in the last video I did a surprise announcement and that was about the giveaway and I also mentioned that I would be meeting with um, Julie from Louie Reloved and I'm excited to tell you today is the day. I have Julie on the phone with me. So good morning, Julie. Good morning. And I have, I have, I hope you don't mind. I've got some questions and uh, guys, I think we'll just kind of go through those questions and we'll have a good conversation uh, between friends. Before we get started with that, I do want to tell you just a couple of things. I do have uh, the Louis Reloved price list. She was so kind to send that over. So certainly I want to say that she was nice enough today, but certainly things change. So if... Um, don't take it as the gospel forever when you see these. I'll, I'll place them in the comment section or you know, like in that section below where I add stuff in. I'll add these in there, but please don't think that they're going to be that price forever. So let's get going. Julie, how did you come up or get the idea for Louis Reloved? It's such a wonderful thing that you're doing, I think, for the environment and to allow us to see exciting, you know, newer things with the Louis Vuitton logo on it, knowing that that's an authentic piece of canvas. So tell me a little bit about it. How did that get started? Well, I um, had a people duffel bag that I used for travel, and um, it I bought it pre-loved, and so it was older when I got it, but the leather had just started deteriorating and oh, stuff, yeah. and... Um, for Christmas last year, I got a new one, and I didn't really know what to do with my old one, and so it was just sitting in my closet, and um, my husband started telling me I needed to get a hobby because um, our son was going to college, and he wouldn't right. be cool if I was following him around college everywhere, <laughs> right. so um, I decided that I would take that key ball not realizing this was going to be a hobby, but I decided I would take the key ball and um, try and make it into other things I could use. I was really just doing it for myself at that point. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. Kind of like you take old shirts and make a quilt out of it to have pieces of that memory or whatever. And so I thought, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to see if I can do something with it. Um, and so that's just kind of how... It all started, and then when I made a couple of things, my mom saw it, and she wanted the same things, and um, and then it just kind of hit me that this could be a hobby, and um, so then it became my little hobby. I love that. That's really good, and it's so funny. Um, when I first did the unboxing, I, I remembered when I finally saw your website, and I think I saw it on another YouTube. I think it's like a la la lv i think and i'll link her channel below too um but anyway i i saw she had something in one of her bags and i went oh and i went to your facebook page and i was so amazed because i have often seen you know like how you see bags on ebay and they are like way past the time that you would ever use them and i thought wow you know what what could happen like like what could i do with these to to give them new life and and you came up with it i'm just so amazed by that that's a wonderful thing um, okay, so here's the question. You see your key ball in your closet and you know you're going to do something with it. So you're, you're, you start creating something and that means you've got to cut into this piece of um, yummy goodness that you've had for a really long time, I'm guessing. Um, what did it feel like? Like, how did it feel to start cutting up <laughs> your Louis Vuitton piece? It's, it's hard. It's a little nauseating yeah. um, at first, but... Yeah. Um, Every time I make something, I kind of do it out of leather to begin with, just because it's similar thickness and pliability and stuff like that. And so I made um, the little pouch and the, the little scallop pouch. That was the first thing I wanted. I wanted something that I could put um, little medicine bottles in um, to carry, like, just medicine for headaches or whatever, allergies and stuff like that. And so I had the little bottles, and um, I made it out of the leather. Um, and so at that point, it was just cutting it up. But I knew I had a workable something that would work. So it wasn't quite as scary that I was just going to tear something apart and um, have a 
bunch of trash on my hands. <laughs> right? I like that. So you work with the leather first, and then once you know you've got a good piece, you add the canvas to it. Right. That's good. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to delve a little bit deeper into your personal world. So, um, you know, like what are the items that you're carrying at this time, like in your bag? I carry the little scallop pouch, and I have some little bottles that fit in it. I've got four little bottles that fit in it that I carry um, a little bit of medicine in just for when you're out and about and need it. Um, I carry the little um, mini wallet. It's got a little V snap flap on it. And um, that I use for um, just put like a debit card and a couple of bills in in case you need to run into the gas station or I take it and clip it to my keys and throw it in my golf bag when I'm playing golf. Um, it fits great in like, I carry, um, for like little crossbody smaller purses, I carry an Eva and um, fits great in that because it's just so small and compact. It's much thinner than the, well, not much thinner, but it's a little thinner than the scallop pouch. So I like it for that. Um, I have a coffee sleeve that folds pretty flat that I can just put in a little pocket. Um, I've got one of the little keychains, like the one that I sent you. Nice. Um, and I can, um, have a little tassel on the side that has a little hidden phone charger in there. And um, then it just looks like a tassel all the time because it's got a little charger cord hidden all in it. So those are the ones I carry most of the time um, with me. And then... I've got a sunglass case, but um, I usually keep it in my car just because that's kind of where I keep it. But. I, I love it. And and Julie, I did pull up, you did send me a picture earlier and I remembered it after I asked the question. I did ask her to send me a couple of pictures this morning. Uh, so I shared that as you were kind of talking through it so we could kind of get an idea of what you were looking at. And, you know, I have to tell I have to tell you guys that Julie and I were talking just before we started recording and when I looked at the picture itself and I saw the coffee sleeve, I actually told her, I was like, I don't even drink coffee, but it's so cool and it folds so flat. Like, I feel like I need to get one just in case I start. I might start drinking coffee just for the sleeve. I love it. And um, I'm also showing the, uh, the sunglass uh, case because I had one and I just, you know, just opened it up to show... Uh, my actual sunglasses in it. So that's awesome. So let's see. Oh, I'm so excited about this question, actually. Um, I know because we've chatted just a little bit uh, before this conversation that you have actually a new item. And I was wondering, would you mind sharing that with us today? Sure. It's um, a little wallet um, and you can choose your colors that go on the inside of it. Um, the lining of it, it's a little wallet. It's got three little um, slots in it for like bills, cards, and then the back part is um, made for coins. So it's um, the whole, you know, all your wallet things in there that you want. So it's definitely bigger than um, the other two little pouches, but. And still nice and compact to put in a smaller purse. I really actually like it. And I'm sharing the pictures this morning. I think it's actually really fast, um, fabulous. And so I just got the pochette accessoire. And I think that this would be perfect because you can get your cards in there. You can fold up some cash. And if there's a little area for um, coins, I don't think that you can go wrong with that. I'm really excited. So um, thank you for sharing that. Now, um, do you know when you'll be debuting this particular wallet? Like, when will it be for sale? I will put it up on my page here in just a little bit so that it's up on there. I just um, got it finished up last night and um, hadn't had a chance to put it on there yet. Oh, that's awesome. And I actually, I'm really grateful that you waited so we could do a debut here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And then it really, it does look like a lovely wallet. And I think if you'll hang on after we cut the video, I think that's going to be one of the things that I order. I've got a, I've got some things that I've been thinking about. I know that I got to do my next order with you. So we'll chat. So Julie, I know that a lot of the ladies are going to wonder about this. So I'm going to ask, what colors do you carry? I carry 
pretty much every color under the rainbow, um, red, orange, yellow, multiple shades of green, um, lots and lots of shades of blue. Um, I love purple, so I had most every purple color you could imagine, um, black, white, green, brown, gold, um, pretty much everything you can imagine. So, oh, that's um, awesome. My suggestion is if you have a color that you love, um, just say, do you have, you know, or can I see your shades of pinks? And I will show you many shades of pinks. Um, just, just ask, and I'll lay them all out. That's what I usually do is lay them out in good lighting so that you can kind of see. And I usually put a piece of canvas there with it because – to me, that sometimes changes the color of, doesn't change it, but it's more complimentary to some than others, I guess. Oh, I can appreciate that. Yes, I, I believe that it would be. And uh, I and it's, and it's I and just in case you guys are wondering, uh, when I did the unboxing, when I had contacted Julie, I said, listen, do you have a rose ballerine? She said, absolutely, <laughs> and, and nailed it. And, and we've been talking about a, like a bluey turquoisey color, and she was uh, you know, really quickly able to do that. So um, really fantastic. Uh, so here's a question about your family. So when when you started this new venture, like when you went in and you did your first creation and you thought, hey, this might be a hobby. Since your husband said, I think you need to get one, how did he feel about this new venture in your world? He rolled his eyes and laughed at me and, um, and I think thought that I was looking for a good excuse to buy um, a bunch of purses. And um, then whenever I started actually making money at it, um, he kind of had to eat his words a little bit and, you know, just basically said, I don't get it, but okay, obviously somebody does. And I just decided that most guys just don't get pretty things. They don't, they don't. <laughs> Yes, that we like pretty stuff and you know mm -hmm. yeah but. it's true <laughs> it's true but that's okay I am I am glad that at least he's going look I don't get it but but that's exciting you've you've now got your hobby <laughs> there, you go. there you go oh goodness so I did read something when I was looking on your Facebook page and it it was a like it was a posting that said you know, some individuals are concerned about other sellers using non-authentic pieces of Louis um, Vuitton. So I guess this must mean that other people must must have thought of this somewhere along the way. But I just wanted to verify. So you you do you screen your items for authenticity before you begin to cut them up and start using them? I do. I have I have a couple of reputable sellers that I get stuff from. Um, some of them just contact me whenever they get some bags in and it's in a bad shape. Um, but a, um, a lot, I would say, of them come to me with some authentication. Um, the ones that don't, I have a friend who sells in good shape Louis Vuitton resell. And um, if I'm ever concerned or whatever, I can go to her and she um, checks it for me and stuff. So. I, I think that's phenomenal. That's really good. And I appreciate you taking like that extra effort to make sure that, you know, the stuff that you're allowing to live on is actually, you know, an authentic piece. So hopefully if you're one of those individuals concerned and you're listening today, that will kind of put your heart at ease a little bit. So we know what you carry in your bag, but what is your favorite piece that you've created so far? The, um, the little mini wallet card case um, that I carry in my purse all the time. But it, it holds four or five cards or you know, four cards and a driver's license, and you can tuck a couple of bills in there. And to me, that one is the one I always have. Like, it fits in my small purse. It um, I can throw it in my golf bag. I can... Um, 
throw it in the console of my car. I can and have everything that I really need with it. It clips to my keys, and it's really, it's my favorite thing because it's so small. But. Okay, I like that one. Now, is that the one, it's the card holder mini wallet? The mini wallet, right. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. And I, I actually, I was, um, I showed that picture as well, and I do like it. It looks like it would hold just the right amount if you were scooting out for the day. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to open this one up to you, and I'm just going to say, is there anything that if you wanted to share with um, anybody watching this particular video about Louis Reloved, what would you say to them? Um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a one-man show here that um, I make everything as the orders come in. When you order it, um, because everything is custom ordered here, um, I don't start making it until the, if the invoice is paid. That way I don't end up with a weird colored something that nobody else wants that weird color or whatever. So um, yeah. I make everything as the orders come in. Um, it's usually about a three to five day turnaround depending on how busy I am at the time, but usually about three to five days. Um, I love it when people come to me with ideas or suggestions and um, pictures of, you know, can you do something like this, but in Canvas, um, I, I love that challenge. Um, if it's something I feel like I, I can't do or is out of my realm, I'm not real good with a sewing machine, so I don't do a whole lot of sewing type projects, but I know several girls that do do that kind of stuff and I don't mind giving you their name and contact information to get a hold of them because I know they're reputable and um, they're using authentic canvas and and they're good people. And so I, I sure don't mind ever sharing those names if I feel like it's something I can't do. Um, and then the last thing is um, back to uh, I use only authentic canvas. I want to make sure that people know, especially if you're you're new to Louis Vuitton, um, that canvas color is different, and that different it's different from the different places it's made, whether it's made in Spain or France or the U.S. Um, not not huge differences, but what I'm working with is vintage canvas, so it's going to be a little bit different too. And some of that's because of where it was made, its age, its um, what it's been subjected to in life. I don't, I don't send out stuff that's got um, Mars and scratches and stuff like that. So when I'm saying vintage, I want everybody to know I, I don't send out the bad parts of the canvas. But um, when you get a piece, it may not match your bag perfectly. And that's just because came from a different part of the world and a different life, and it's had a much longer life probably than the bags that you're carrying. So if that's going to bother you, I just want people to know ahead of time that um, if you're looking for an exact match, buying recycled canvas products may not be the thing for you, if that makes sense. Yeah, that really does actually. And you know, it's true. I can I can verify. I've bought new pieces and pre-loved pieces and I do have some older items and you know, there are slight variations depending on where you're getting your bags from. So I definitely can appreciate that and and uh, and respect it, but uh, to your point, if you're if you're not somebody who enjoys a good vintage or pre-loved feel and look, then this this may not be for you. But it's but right. certainly if you if you're not afraid of of what has come before, then certainly this please give give it a look. And I'm going to link again the Facebook page below, and it's called Louie Reloved. If you just kind of want to do a search as well, I'm going to place the price list. Uh, down below also. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments for Julie and uh, we'll make sure that you get the answers uh, for those. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and this time with Julie and I, uh, please give this a thumbs up. 
Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, take a look at some of my other videos. Take a moment to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, have a wonderful day and we'll talk very soon. Hello again. I'm actually tacking this in on the very last part of this video because I'm so sorry I forgot. Uh, but don't forget, uh, you have the opportunity every day to send an email for the giveaway. And that is for... Uh, this particular item in the color of your choice. So don't forget, send an email with your name, your city, and your state. Hope to see you again very soon.